Hey, Captain Turner here. Today I'm going to do a tutorial on the Coronado Mooney M20R Ovation. I'm going to be showing you how to use the altitude pre-selector correctly. Um, I've seen a lot of people on the diff different sites um, wondering how this is used because they're saying it's not holding the altitude. So today I'm going to be showing you how to use it correctly. You will enjoy your flights much better once you know this. Okay, so I'm currently currently at an altitude of 7,000 feet. Our altitude is held at 7,000 feet. I'm going to select 8,000 feet on the C, on the uh, altitude pre-selector. Now nothing happens when I do that until I press arm. And once I push arm, you're going to see this. This is going to move up to uh, 500 feet per minute. So I'm going to arm that now, and we will start climbing at a rate of 500 feet per minute. But I want to get there faster, so how do I do this? Well, I can tell you now, we don't use this vertical speed button here. What we need to do is push this button here in. Once that is in, we can then use the small dial to move that to a thousand. So we're now going to be climbing at a rate of a thousand feet per minute. Now by doing it this way, what happens when this reaches the 8000 mark, <clears throat> just before the 8000, this will reset itself. It will go back to zero. You don't have to worry, it's supposed to do that. Once it goes back to zero, this will then very shortly after hit the 8000 feet mark. Once that does, automatically the altitude hold will come on and you are set at your desired altitude <clears throat> and we'll watch that happen so we're now going to be coming up to 8,000 feet so in a moment you're going to see this this is going to reset it's going to go back to zero there we go so now this is back to zero you can see we're not quite at 8,000 feet, but we are getting there. And once this hits the 8,000 feet mark, automatically the altitude hold will come on on the automatic pilot. And we're now about to get there. So the automatic altitude hold is on. So we can go ahead now and push this button back in. And you'll see 8000 is still selected there. But we are now currently at our desired altitude and no problems. Now let me show you what happens if I climb to 9000 but use as the vertical speed. So I'm just going to select the altitude and go to 9000. This is what people do wrong. So they select this, they don't press the arm, or sorry, <clears throat> sorry, they do press the arm and sometimes they don't. But they go to this, vertical speed, they hit that, they change this to a thousand feet or whatever, whatever vertical speed they choose and they are expecting to get to 9,000. Now we will watch what happens when we reach the 9,000 mark. You'll also notice the, um, the uh, automatic um, altitude hold is off. And a lot of people are now going to be expecting that to come back on as we hit the 9,000. This isn't going to happen. This button here, will it will select your um, feet per minute at whatever rate you desire. But it will not automatically engage to hold the altitude. You see, it will now just go past that. And it will keep going past that. 
you know, for as long as you want, it will keep going past that. It doesn't do anything. You have to, if using this, you have to manually engage your altitude hold. So I'm going to manually engage that at 9,500. Just there. And now I'm going to push this button in because it does select that. So once I push this in, 9,500 is our altitude. It will hold the altitude using this, but you have to manually select that. So my way, sorry, not my way, the correct way is to, let's go all the way up to 10 there. So the correct way, select your altitude, arm this, you're still going to be going at a rate of 500 feet per minute. Select that, come down here, push this button in, change change your rate, change your vertical speed to whatever you desire. We'll go back to a thousand, and again, it's going to take us all the way to 10,000 feet. Once it's get once it gets us there, again it will go to zero, and altitude hold select itself and you'll see it's gone to zero very very shortly now altitude hold select itself on the automatic pilot just here and there we go and that concludes our video so that is how you use the altitude pre-selector I hope you enjoyed the tutorial I hope you gained something from this and I hope you have better flights by having this knowledge. Um, so thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Also check out my Twitch channel, my Facebook page, my Instagram. Just, um, just come say hi at some point maybe. Okay, look after yourselves people. Take care.